Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. That's a 2010 Dodge Journey. It's got the big 3.5, needs a little bit of exhaust work. Uh, the front flex pipe is leaking on it, but I also noticed uh, when I looked at it for this girl a couple weeks ago that the bolts holding the Y pipe in, I guess for lack of a better term, are starting to disappear, so we're gonna fix those too. It has been a little while since I've looked at it, but here's the uh, pipe that we have. That's your classic uh, 54838 from Walker. One gasket, one clamp. And let's see, let's give ourselves a reminder. There we go, so there's one bolt that went MIA and that one is not far behind. So you can see what's happening there. Now that those joints are not leaking, so there's another one. So that one's missing. And that one's not far behind. And I believe they're just nuts and bolts so we can just uh, chop it off. And then the flange that we need to get to is right up there. And that's looking super inconvenient. <laughs> However, uh, well, there's a little sock off the flex. So you can see the flex there is in pretty rough shape. It's pretty noisy. That's where the leak is. Hopefully, there's still a pipe existing underneath that clamp. The rest of her exhaust isn't horrid. So that's what this little guy looks like. Car's a little crusty, she just wants it quieter. So we're gonna do the best we can, even if even if we take this clamp off here, and we find out this is all deteriorated, it's not a big deal. We'll just take the back of that pipe, you know, chop it, put in, you know, a connector piece and just, you know, weld it in if we have to. But we can see the, the bolt, and I think those are just nuts and bolts also. And hence. That right there. We'll just get up here with the torch, you know, chop it off and see what we can do uh, for getting this back together. I don't know why I'm recording this, but we are. This is what we have to work on this morning, so this is what we're recording. So let's get this problem here, these problems here situated. We'll just do one bolt at a time. We'll probably just stick some American bolts in there. Looks like maybe, uh, you know, maybe some 3 8 bolts or something like that. So let's see what we can do. I think we're gonna employ Vic. We'll trim off what's left of this, this one right here. good enough. Let me get some different glasses there and we'll see if we can't just knock that through. Not like it was in my hopes and dreams. Neither was that one. They're not a welded nut, are they? It's gonna be real disappointing to me if they are. Do, do, let's see. Well, let me get some torch action on the back section, because if they are, well, they're not gonna be for long anyways. So this is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know, I thought that was just a separate uh, um, nut, you know, just a nut and a bolt, but that might have been originally tack welded or something on the back of this uh, flange, which is not a big deal. Uh, like I said, I tried tapping out with a hammer, didn't pop loose, but I'm just gonna take and Take old Vic there and chop that off because we're gonna, regardless of what this is, we're just gonna use a nut and bolt anyways. Get you guys back out of harm's way. Ooh. See if she wants to play nice now. Swap up my other glasses here. And see if we can knock that out of there. Not a big to-do. Keep whacking my dang light here. Let's see if get up in there. Ta-da! 
Like I say, that could have been just seized in that hole too. No, it's splined. No, it's definitely, uh, definitely was a nut. You can see when you look in that hole, there's splines. Chances are if I could get on this upper one with the air hammer, bop, we could bop, give her one of those, but, 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 that one's kind of a, that one's a little bit tighter. Oh, very tight. These ones are also not really great to get to. That's the process I'm gonna use to get the rest of them out. I'm just gonna torch them off and, uh, you know, try to drive them out here. Leave that one. I'm gonna do another easy one over right here. on your vajayo but up inside up in here there are splines so likely the nut that goes in there from the factory is like spline and kind of pressed into uh, that flange so now let's take care of some of these harder ones to get to no good place for you on that one folks I'm gonna set you back out of the way put on my glasses This your first day. Goodness. Doing the up and over, I call it. I can't get close. Come on, baby, get up. directly under something it's kind of counterproductive I'm going to heat up that flange a little bit should make driving it out a little bit easier I mean technically we really don't even need to cut the back half of it but I do that because it has whoops bumping into it kind of weakens it a little bit you know and uh, makes it easier to drive out but let's uh Let's give this the old college try here, where you guys are at. Mother lover. Is that a flexi flange? No, that one is. That's the solid part of the pipe. bending that stuff. Alright, just a minute. Let me move you folks. Let me get you guys out of the way. Right after that swing and a mess. Plan B. Woo! <laughs> I just love that one down the back of the neck. Those are always fun. Glad this way. There we go. Just had to soften. 
soften it up just a little. Get my glasses back on. There, how you like that? How you like them apples? Get that kind of back where it was. Uh, before, before I give this one the grand finale, let's uh, bolt this back up. I wanna get that flange back up in there where it was. So let me go get four bolts four washers, and both of these nuts. Yeah. I'll give you guys some decent light, somewhat, somewhat. So I got some 3 8 by two inch, 3 8 16, grade eights. Let's grab them out of our bolt bin upstairs to keep some miscellaneous bolts around this joint. Probably could fit a 7 16 in there. Ooh, this one's gonna be toasty. Gotta work quick. There we go. Woo. There's that. I just wanna draw that together a little bit before we take that other flange off. The other flangey. Uh, that way, there the whole mess doesn't come hanging down because on the other end of this is where the wide pipe or the uh, flex pipe hooks to. I can see where where it was before. I'm just going to draw it right into that same rust spot. Make sure it gets all sealed up here. Word to the wise, if you're ever using uh, your gear wrenches or any ratcheting wrench for that matter, if something is hot, don't use these little guys. They, they, that's the only thing I find that really kills a, a ratcheting wrench is sticking it on a hot nut or bolt. Uh, I think it weakens the spring mechanism in there. And then the show is over. Looking like we got it, folks. There's one. I'm gonna fire messing with these things, but looks like we're back to where we should be. But yeah, this, I mean, the whole exhaust system on this car is getting pretty dang thin, but I'm trying to save this girl a few bucks here. Uh, probably, tell you what, let's put the one bolt back in this one here that we took out and then we'll work on the other bolt. Gotta keep things from falling apart. Mm, that's good stuff. Get up there and get, get after it. Oh, frick. Frick, frick. What the? Oh. 
Darn, 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 darn. Oh, wait a minute. That's, ooh. <laughs> Just dancing a little bit. This is the uh, flange that turns. So, we might be in luck. Let's take the, uh, take this back off. Take this bolt back off. We'll spin that flange around town. We'll put the good hole at the top. Hopefully this isn't gonna haunt me. Um, hopefully there's not little pinholes underneath this pipe, but let's do it like this. Yeah, baby. Oh, nope, she might not spin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at that. We're going to get right to the part that we need to get to. You guys probably can't see crap. I don't know how to make it so you can. Let's see. Let me move you. Mm-hmm. Whoa, did I get you? Pop, pop, get you. There. Get our slag off there. Whoops, gosh dang it, you're always in my way, dude. Okay, we got, we're good enough. Now we'll just take and bolt that one uh, back together. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> that flange was, because one of the flanges is fixed and then the other one is a swivel. Why, right, kitty? Here comes Lona. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hi. Kitty, how are you? Hope you're not outside today. Yeah, it's very nice out. Where's a good girl? Want to go see mommy? Yeah. You ready? Hey, Mark. Is that go? Burnt my dang palm. You got me. Boy, nice day out today. Yesterday was the big eclipse. And then today, 75 and sunny. Yesterday, 50, clouds everywhere. Couldn't see anything. It got a little weird for a minute, a couple minutes anyways. The uh, street lights and stuff came on. It got pretty dark, but like I say, it was only for about two or three minutes, and then it started getting light again. It's kind of neat, but couldn't see anything. Like I say, it was super, super cloudy. Just a touch of rain. Oh, well. I've been outside at nighttime before. So that's what those look like now. And really not much to look at. A couple bolts and a couple flanges. Now the good news is, where these ones had the nut uh, welded on there, you know, it's also the same for this pipe, but if you look up there, you can see, let me see, enhance. The welded nut is actually on the section of the pipe that we're changing. So that'll be helpful to us because we can reach up in here with a torch, hopefully maybe through the fender. Well, one way or another, we'll get the uh, heads cut off the bolts. And then once it's out of the way, we'll just have to knock the, you know, the remaining portion of the bolt down through and then we should be able to, uh, yeah, we can get them up through from down here. So it'll work out well, I believe. So th this pipe is sort of an, al even though it's rusty, it's, uh, we always just refer to it as aluminumized pipe, but it's a, some sort of alloy. We don't want all the metallurgists in the crowd uh, getting after us, uh, but it's, a, it's an alloy. So it's uh, extremely difficult to cut with the torch uh, without it just kind of blobbing out of the way. I think in an effort to really not disturb a ton of the other pipes and you know get this all blazing hot I think we're just gonna take our torch psh, chop it off we have to cut this bolt off that holds this clamp on but for right now I just want to get it out of my way so I'm gonna use the saws I'm gonna cut it right here and then I think I may just reach up in here with a sawzall also and just cut just above that flange so I can get out of the way then I can get up there with the torch easier and uh, and then get those our remaining studs blasted out of the way and get the other portion of the pipe off. You cut through this stuff with the saws out pretty quick.
like that. We gotta be able to get up in here and do what we need to do. With possibly. We gotta let it down a little. You probably won't see much from your vantage point. Put these on so people don't freak out. There we go. Yeehaw! Oh, oh, easy, fella. Diablo. The devil. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna let it down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna stick my face up here. And I'm gonna cut off anything I need to cut off. think that is. Oh yeah. It's not real hot. It just didn't take me long to look at it. Let's see if we can knock those studs down through now. There's a guy trying to use his left hand. <laughs> Here's their old gasket, in case you want to take that home with you. Um, let's see here, let me try to heat up that flange a little bit where those bolts come up through. There's really no place I can put you folks. Yeah, those are spine too. What the world? Ooh, maybe, because last time we cut off the nuts and they were spine, but those bolts are, sp they both can't be spine. Let's be honest, those are 110% spine, so maybe this side was different. Maybe this had spine studs and regular, um, you know, regular nuts. That's what I'm guessing. So this is how the cookie's crumbling on this side, so we're gonna have to heat up this flange. Also, 
I'll probably have to move you guy. I'll probably have to do this one right handed. Not real good with the stranger. Get a little heat on the plant, it's easier to knock those studs through. I don't think you'd want to be doing this one in your driveway, to be honest with you. Alright, just this side of liquid. Oh, sugar. There it is. There. Let it go. Hit the floor. Oh nope, it's still hanging in up there. I'll let it cool down before I knock it through the rest of the way, but it's it's just hanging on by a sliver. Now what we'll do, free tip Friday for you, this little trick Mima taught me. You want to get old exhaust gasket off? Best way to do is with a torch. around that, that exhaust flange and that old gasket will curl right up on there. Once it starts curling up, just keep heating it. Easiest way to clean the exhaust. I do it all the time for cleaning exhaust gaskets. Makes your stand up straight. There we go. It gets, all, it gets all the rust and crap off the flange too. All right. I don't think I can get up in here with this kind of punch get down the rest of that I got a little special punch of it a little stubby guy will hold up there and knock that other stud rest way through this is my special little guy I call him. I don't know what it's for but I use it often oh you jerk hole did you guys see what I just did who didn't see that coming I don't want to lose my special little guy Frank I just dropped my magnet what a shit show Round two. This time we're using vice grips. Uh, might just stand right in your way. That's okay. There. Ta-da! We got them out. Let's see if I can pick that up for you. See how hot that is. Not too hot. But that's what these things look like. So they are studs with splines. Okay, so this side must have been studded where the other side wasn't. So um, anyhow, that's what we're dealing with. Let me uh, make sure this flange, we gotta knock the slag off it. That should be good. I think we'll get some uh, Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll get some 3 8 bolts. I might wheezy wheel that just for a second. Get some 3 8 bolts, got a new gasket. And I think we'll stick the bolts down through. Let gravity be our friend. And then try to stick uh, both of those nuts on from the bottom up. We'll get this situated here first.
There's a little spot weld that they put on these. Usually you do that, I'll crack them right loose, but... Come on, you jerk! Well, amateur hour at self main Auto. Cool. There's that. It doesn't take much, trust me, folks. <laughs> is this still recording? Looks like it is. Now, we have to get in there. I don't know if we'll be able to slit. We'll give it a try. You could always come with an inside cutter on your air hammer. But we're holding on to a torch. Oops. Get off there. So we'll try it the old fashioned way. Probably not the best way. Slip just the inner pipe. Well, not gonna be the best way with the alloy pipe. Sometimes if it gets a little crumbly, you can do it, but I don't want to risk blasting through the outside. So let's get our uh, cutter for the air hammer. The only sucky part about that is sometimes it'll catch it and it'll, you know, freaking drives the pipe in, which is kind of counterproductive here. We'll be using Astro Tools Little Nasty, the 401 shanker. And we'll also be using the Astro Tools. I don't know if they're called inside cutters, but that's what I call them because I use them for cutting inside of stuff. It's a 401 Kilo 603, 401K603. That's the number of the bit. She's brand new too, never, never even used. Let's see, how do we wanna, how do I wanna get up in here so I can see and you can see, we can all see. Try to catch the edge, whoa. Why should have some hearing protection on if you're doing this? Yeah, I see it's driving the son of a gun in. Forget about it. I don't want to drive it all the way in. Which I thought would happen. I thought that was going to happen. And here we are. Uh, I'm going to go back to plan B. That was plan A. Get out the torch. You just gotta take your time is all. Might end up doing this. Oops, wrong glasses, dude. Let's find my other glasses. My extinguisher ready. The inner pipe red. Last. A little bit of a dance. Come on. better way to do it folks. At least until I read the comment section I don't. Oh.
This alloy pipe really sucks. It's just sucky to cut, and the other sucky part is it gets rusty. <laughs> so I don't really see the advantage of it, but I don't know if I nicked it all the way through enough to do anything. Like I say, I'm trying not to cut through the outside pipe, which we've been successful with. Usually what you would do, so in a, in a perfect situation, non-alloy pipe, you just reach in, you nick it, nick it, and then you got two halves, they collapse together, you pull it out. So let me see if I can get something to hook in there. We can kind of tap it out and uh, be on our way. Everything's gonna be all right. Yes, sir. So there's our inner sleeve. We didn't really hurt much. Get that flag out of there. Yeehaw. Okay. I think we're in good shape for the shape. We're in the pipe's a little sturdier than I originally thought it would be. So I think we're good. Um, And I do hear you. Yes, you could get down in there with your die grinder, your Dremel tool, your little cutoff wheel, all that stuff. It's all options, folks. I was just using the option I had in my hand. Lovely. Yes, lovely. Got to stay there. Got our pipe. Probably just gonna end up knocking our gasket off, but hey, we just knocked our gasket off. We're gonna have to give this a spreader. Why did it? Why did I stick my gasket up there? What's the matter with your brain? Um, yeah, let's give this just a, a little bit of a spread. Let's hook that right there. We'll open that up just a smidge. Probably don't have to go very far. Let's see. Old pipe. You don't really want to go expanding on old pipe very much. There it is. Give her a little too much, but that's okay. Nothing you can't fix with a clamp, am I right? Uh, 5 16th bolt down through there because the hole in that lower pipe where it was splined uh, was quite a bit smaller. I'm very quick touching that part here. <laughs> um, so I ended up just sticking 5 16th by two inch bolts uh, down through there. So let's get this clamp back on the rear here. Haven't been able to really do much for this video to trigger folks. So I think what we'll do is we'll put this clamp on a little off kilter. That should get under their skin. And this seems to get people's goats too, so we'll just top it off with one of these. Where we trim off the uh, ends of the clamps, people will tell me, oh, you can't reuse that clamp. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, I don't reuse a $3 exhaust clamp. Uh, because when it comes to the time that we need to take that off, well, you know what they look like around this place. So we'll give you the flyby. There's what things look like back here. Yeah. Comes all the way up and around. Up in there. I know we didn't show much of that, but it's kind of a pisser to get up in there with both you and I. And then of course you already saw what happened down here. So that's it, out with the old, in with the new. Of course, new aftermarket, so you have to replace this about, oh, probably every three years. Um, 
But when you get cars in this shape, it's hard to say. It might not have three years left in it. She's pretty crusty. She's the wheel drive. You don't see that too often. Like ever. <laughs> At least around here, we don't see too many two wheel drivers, that's for sure. Contact. Oh. Way nicer than it sounded when we drove it in. Actually, it sounded pretty cool <laughs> driving it in, let's be honest. Hundred and ten thousand. Sounds good. Uh, this lady will be happy. One ten, one fifty four. Remember that number. I'll take that in, give that to Mrs. O. Uh, and that's it. So, kind of a eh, silly video, I guess, but shows kind of some of the problems that you can have uh, doing this and and how to go about it. Uh, not too uncommon here in the PRNY to see the bolts and stuff rusting off an exhaust system where the pipes are still pretty good so you gotta you know go ahead and chop those off uh, a little bit challenging because they were splined you know whether it was the, you know the nut side or the stud side uh, you've got to heat that flange up a little bit to get the uh, to get them to knock out and then you drop your little deal down inside the pipe and then you drop your magnet in the pipe and then you burn your patties so those are the things that can happen so the only other thing I need to happen right now is to have you happen down in that comment section. Questions, comments, find us on our social, Insty, Facebook. You guys know where we're at. Just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.